Charles Brown and we are from the King of Racing. Today I'm bringing you another finance video and today's video is going to be my top five items I believe you guys should start reselling in 2021 at any age. So with each item I'm going to give you the best site of where to sell them and the best site of where to buy them. Well maybe not a site, some may be in physical but you'll see as you go into the video. Some of you might be thinking I um, that Two videos ago, I literally just did a video about reselling, but that was more about the technique. So once you've finished watching this video and, you, and you've decided that you quite like one of the items I said for you guys to resell, you could maybe go back to that video, which I'll link in the description below, or you can just go onto my channel and you can use that video to be able to resell a bit better. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hold your horses there, make sure you go and drop a cheeky like and subscribe and also comments are disabled for an annoying reason, YouTube just won't let me turn them on. So um, let me know your thoughts on the video using my Instagram links in the description. So my first item is going to be electronics. So this can range from PS4s to iPhones to iPads to laptops, you name it. The best app to buy these, to buy iPhone, iPads, tablets, all of that stuff off of is Facebook Marketplace. So on Facebook Marketplace, you tend to get a lot of people called mainstreamers who tend to just buy um, valuable technology without much knowledge behind the value of it. So this is why some people buy um, iPhones a few years ago, forget how much they paid for it and sell them at a very low price. Facebook Marketplace is a great place to find people selling these type of things because on eBay you, find, you tend to find people who know the value of their items a bit more. So on screen at the moment, to the... Oh yeah, for you guys, to the left of me on, on your guys' screens. Um, where no. Oh yeah, uh... Yeah, to the left of me on your guys' screens. Um, I'm here on Facebook Marketplace and I'm searching for an iPhone X. So um, in a minute you'll see, or you might be on screen right now, I, I can't see it. Um, I, might, I might have already found this iPhone X for £100. Um, and then I switch over to this website called Compare and Recycle. And on this website you can trade in old iPhones and they will give you, and then they will compare all the websites that will trade it in for you and you can, and then you can sell it to that website and that's all you have to do. So here on Compare and Recycle, you can see I searched iPhone X, I put the credentials of this iPhone X into the website and then it came up with a whole bunch of websites that will buy it off of me. So here you can see, even if it was a locked phone, which it doesn't state in the description, <coughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be, um, able to sell it to them for upwards of £180. So for hardly any work, that is straight up £80 profit. And it's only £20 extra that I get, even if it is unlocked, which it might be un quite unlikely. Um, but yeah, that's a really easy way of making some good profit. And something I've Something I need to tell you guys is when you're buying off people from Facebook Marketplace for any of the items in these videos, make sure you pay through PayPal and through goods and services. Don't let any seller tell you that you need to pay through family and friends as through PayPal goods and services, you are 100% insured. And if they end up not fulfilling your item or sending you a completely counterfeit broken or whatever item um you can easily get your money straight back up from paypal um seen as they pe seen as um you paid them through family and friends sometimes a seller might ask you to pay a little bit extra to cover the small fee that paypal charge for doing goods and services but if the item is at a low enough cost then maybe just pay that just pay that cost for them anyway um as it is completely worth it is completely worth the few pounds extra it will cost you um, than losing the whole thing if they end up giving you a counterfeit or not fulfilling the item at all. So the next item I suggest you guys start selling actually takes place when you're in school. So this, is, this isn't something that you should rely on um, because obviously um, this is only be able to, this will only be able to happen whilst you're in school um, and usually you won't be able to make any money whilst in school so this is this is just the perfect little way to make a bit 
of extra income. So you could earn around 50 to 100 pounds per week um, from this method, depending on how well you execute it. This is selling sweets in your school. So up on screen at the minute, you can see a, you can see a screenshot of me on Amazon finding this box of 200 of these sweets called Fizzy Belts. They are very popular and um, you can up, you can upsell these in schools very well. So, for example, you can get a box of 200 of these and then um, bring, and then order them off Amazon for £12, including delivery. Um, so that's that's your first cost for them. And then what you do is you get you get you can get um, some sandwich bags from Wilco's, your local Asda, Tesco for around a pound for a bunch of bags. And then you can get about eight of these strips, fold them up and then put them in these sandwich bags, tie it up and then try to sell them to people around your school. So for these exact suites of fizzy belts, I thought I'd run through the costs and profits you can potentially make on this. So the fizzy belts themselves cost £12 for just 200 of them. The sandwich bags will probably cost you about £3 for this entire batch. We are going to split these up into 25 bags of eight, selling them for £1.50. So if we can sell all 25 bags, selling five bags every single day for a week, we'll make a total revenue of £37.50. Subtracting our £15 costs, that's £22.50 profit from a week's work. We can then repeat that with other sweets. You can do this with loads of other stuff. So, um, fizzy belts tend to be the most popular, but you can do it with other sweets. So, on um, on Amazon, you can buy like huge sweet packages of like two kilos worth of sweets, and then you can do big mix and pick and mix bags um, that people will happily buy. Um, and also, what people quite like are Lucas Aids. So, if you go to like your local corner shop, you can you can probably find some um, a multi pack of Lucas Lucas Aids for pretty cheap and then um, you can divide up the cost and um, it'll probably come out to around 50p per bottle and you can sell them for a pound to one pound fifty. The way you should market this is put it on your onto your snapchat story so if you don't have snapchat I recommend you should go download it and just add all people from your school and just sort of advertise on your snapchat story say on a sunday night what you will be what will you be selling in school um, and you can get people to message you on that night to say all right i want to reserve um, a bag of eight fizzy belts i want to get a lucas aid and a pick and mix bag and then you could probably um, sort out some deals with some people um, so that's all down to you and then you know what stock you need to buy ready for the new week this will also remind me people to put to bring the cash into school um, I wouldn't mess around with trying to do like bank transfers PayPal it's just it's just a bit too much effort if you do get up to the point where you end up making twelve thousand pound um, you, you're going to have to start paying tax on these sweets you're selling. So just get people to bring in the money into school and then just give them, give them the sweets and the drink or whatever and then they'll give you the cash. One last thing I forgot to add is that to um, when somebody buys from you, um, get them to recommend you to their friends that obviously are in that school and this will help build customer awareness up. So guys, the last item I'm going to tell you isn't necessarily an item, but um, it is a complete, it is a really good method of getting some quick money. Most of you who live in the UK and in the US um, will have a charity shop or thrift store nearby to them. So if you come in, if you go into one of those charity shops, you will find a whole range of miscellaneous items and you'll find that they're very random. This is because people choose to donate these to charity shops and thrift stores get them on a really cheap price to resell. And then when you buy off of a charity shop, some um, their profits then go towards uh, go towards their organisation. The shopping at charity shops, first of all, is straight away is supporting charities, which is what we want to do. So in these charity shops, you can find some very low markdown items because the charity's got these for free. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go into these charity shops and look around um, and see which items take your fancy. So then if you spot an item that you think could be potentially valuable, you can go on your phone, check out eBay and see the sold listings for that exact same item. If, it, if there's a good profit margin in it for you, you can then buy that item and sell it on eBay 
on that day. I'm going to be doing a video soon of trying to make £100 of selling charity shop items within 24 hours. So stay tuned to that, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also sell some of these items on Facebook Marketplace. It really depends on the type of items. So if, you, if you're unsure about where to sell an item, um, just search up its ca category in the internet and just um, search up where you should sell it and there'll be a bunch of and they, there'll be a bunch of articles that will um, help you decide. Anyway guys that it will be the end of today's video. Um, please smash like and subscribe. I would tell you to comment your thoughts on the video but YouTube keeps turning off my comments which is, is really annoying. Um, but anyway guys I hope you all have an amazing day or night with time to run. Now we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.